All right, so we're back on the slot machine. Been a few days, had some other stuff to do. Uh, but what we're going to try to do today is get rid of the clicky clunky we got going on with this arm. And it's, let's see if we can get this stood up somewhere. Basically, if I push this up, I can unlock it. And that's not too bad. But then it gets stuck. So, what I'm going to attempt to do is remove this assembly, which is three 7 16 bolts in there. One there, one tucked away in there, and then another one up here. You can kind of see it on that mechanism. And we're going to try to pull that out and see if we can remove this whole assembly, because those three bolts seem to match with these little studs out here. Can't tell if that's focusing or not. And these three here, and that arm should come off, although it looks like I may need to pull this E-clip to get it off, and we will have to see. So I think I'm going to try to pull that E-clip first and see if the arm just pulls out, because that will free up a lot more... Uh, Potential to remove this thing. Let me go get a screwdriver. All right, let's see what we can do here. Almost got it. Let's see how far we shoot this thing. Yep, it's gone. <laughs> We got a little wavy spring and a washer, and another washer. Yep, and that. Oh boy. Oh wow. Okay. We dropped some stuff on the ground uh, inside. Another bushing, but. That does look like it will come off now. Although, it appears, uh, the right way to do it would have been to pull that bolt out and pull the arm off and then the whole thing would come out. So we'll have to assemble that back when we get it out. Okay, so, well, a couple little, little roller bearings in there. That's kind of neat. All right, so let's get the old 7 16th out. Where'd you go? There it is. Oh, there's a hole in it. Just noticed that. We've got an access hole. It's kind of nice. Looks like it is a Kind of a carriage bolt. Yep. All right. One. And it is a carriage bolt, which is kind of nice. Oh, it looks like we might have an excess in there as well. And we do, although you gotta get around the springs. That one's gonna be a little tricky to get back on. There it goes. More, part, more parts falling. There's another bushing that I shouldn't have taken apart. We'll figure it out. And then the last one in the back corner 
which holds the solenoid, which unlocks it. All right, that fell all the way through somewhere. We will have to find him <laughs> eventually. And tap to move that last bolt. Alright, this sneaky bugger I think has a, a hidden bolt right under that one which does not protrude. Oh no, I see what it is. I unscrewed the wrong one. There it goes, dummy. I unscrewed the one that holds the solenoid on and it's not the one that holds the unit in but it's really hard to tell where they go so let's put that back make sure it falls out less than it did before okay yeah that's a stud welded onto the bracket back there now there it is there it is. Yep. Wow, that's heavy. Yellow on top. Green on the bottom. All right. More here for the solenoid. There. there she is. Had a few more parts fall out while I was whacking on it with a hammer, so that should be fun getting all that back together. <laughs> Hopefully, the instruction booklet tells me how. But we're gonna go get this on a table and then see if we can get it back together. <laughs> All right, so I was able to get that off. It was just taking the uh, hex bolt, the Allen head out of that, give it a little pull, and the arm popped off. This is really heavy stuff. That's solid steel. Pretty neat. And now these are the chunks that fell out of it while I was beating on it, when I probably shouldn't have been. All right, now I think what we're going to do, since we've got to take this whole thing apart to get the get her back together is uh, gonna get the old 7 16 pop those off looks like I've got two Phillips heads down here and then we'll see what we got we'll go get the solenoid off first Good. At least it seems to. I'll take off that one that I took off before that wasn't the right one. And that comes out. the money in it pulls that up to unlock it and yeah that's a that's a disaster okay pop the top cover off
Oop, and another Phillips. Oh boy, that holds the springs, so I'm gonna have to go get a Phillips. Be right back. Alright, so I'll take these off first. They seem the less likely to cause something to explode. There we go. These things are pretty well built. I guess they have to be for the millions of cycles they, I guess, are expected. I'll leave those on there while I crack this one loose. This has the springs on it. Okay, she's loose. Let's see what happens. Okay, nothing under there. But yeah, you can see where this thing lost its mind. This guy, I want to say, and we're going in about like that. That's not right. This probably went this way. And now all sorts of stuff's falling off. Let's see. Yeah. Yep. That's the micro switch that triggers the game. somehow okay yeah that's the bumper for the return boy that that it <laughs> that grease they have on it is glue it is so sticky right now all right let's see if we can get this silly thing back together here since I probably shouldn't have oh boy taking it apart in that manner. I think that went over there. falling apart now. Jeez, we're in trouble. Uh, 
Okay, that's one. Unfortunately, oh, oh, there we go. Okay. That goes like that. Get that one back on there. All right. Yep, there it is. And then this thing goes there. This guy goes back on about like that. I want to say this might have been the sticky guy. Yep. <laughs> Outer cover's moving. Yep, that's probably what was sticking. Pretty sure something's still not right. We got all sorts of parts where they're not supposed to be. Let's see if the uh, yeah, that's not quite making contact with the switch now. instruction book and hopefully they got an exploded view of this mess. All right, conveniently they do have and one thing I noticed is I had this bumper in wrong. That's supposed to be turned this way with the flat towards the stop. Blew the spring off there for a second. But what that does let's get the old screwdriver back in it. That allows this to ratchet, and as soon as you make contact with that micro switch, it frees that up and then it comes back. So I think we've got that. I don't quite know what this guy does. When that thing is on, when she ratchets forward, that slams back, and it's supposed to catch this. I'm assuming when it's held down properly, it will. Okay, I see what I'm missing here is one of the washers that fell out is supposed to go in the middle here so it's not squared up. Like that. And that's supposed to get a little bit of spray lube on it. So we're going to go, go, go get some spray lube and start putting that back together and some grease. All right, so it looks like 
this guy goes like that. This little guy goes on top of here. I still really don't know what that is, but I know where it goes, so we're going to give it a spritz. Get that back in to its home right there. And I think that's our mechanism. I think. Yep. Now, we're gonna... Whoops. All the little washers are falling off. That's good. Spritz up this guy. Yep. There's the blue grease <laughs> from 1992, which has to align this piece. So this should go about like that. Make sure my IGT is right side up, and it is. Washers on, little castle washers, which is kind of neat. A little crown washers. We're gonna put these nuts back on it. Yeah, why I didn't look at the instructions before, <laughs> since I have them, I don't know. I'll put this little guy back in over here and these two in the front or in the bottom I guess Snug these up a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Tighten these down. Kind of nice, there's a shoulder there, so they go to a hard stop. There we go. Alright, that seems to be back together. Let's see if it works without exploding. Alright, this second one did not catch its tab up here. For some reason. I'm thinking that that may be part of our issue. What's happening is that bottom one is springing back just a little too far. And it's not catching that. So if we push on it, it pops right back in. Why that is, I don't know. I do not know. Because that is actually what triggers it to spring back. That goes down there, it pops it, that first one goes back. And then, we'll see if you can 
see it, you can see it when it hits this, this pops out and then lets it go back. But since that's going too far, that's not able to go and get into its home and reset. So we're going to have to take a little look at this and see if I've missed something. It looks okay. Everything seems square. But that upper piece is not, is returning almost too far. Let me see something here. Now it won't. It will work, but why that's not going back to home, I don't know. Seems a lot better than it used to be. We're going to take a look to see if we can figure out why that little guy isn't doing that every time. All right. Well, that is actually seems to be caused by this stop being out of adjustment. So that's interesting. Yeah. All right. That's caused by this stop being a little out of adjustment. Maybe I had it in upside down because there are two ways that that can go. Yep, there's only one way that that can go, which is like that. And that doesn't move. That is held real solid. By this. Hmm. Interesting. 
So that is exactly where it's supposed to be. And it is not latching in correctly. We're going to look at that a little bit more. Okay, I think I see what our problem is. You see this drool and all this gunk in here? There is a puddle of goo directly under this on the floor of the machine inside. I believe that this is supposed to have a bumper attached to it. That is your bumper. And somehow it turned into melted sticky garbage. And came out of this piece. That is my guess. And that is most likely what's causing this to over return and not allow this piece to reset properly. I think that's what's going on because there is a substantial puddle of snot that's hardened and sticky and rubbery garbage, kind of like this stuff. Yeah on the floor and inside the machine right under this drool mark. I'm not sure when that happened, but I'm thinking that is my issue. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Because I don't want to break this piece, obviously, because that's like a little hard phenolic something or other. But I think that's what's going on is the return bumper has degraded. It's very hard to see on the print since it's all stuck together with that crap because that is down in here and they don't show that piece in its entirety but you can kind of see there's a rounded thing sticking out the other side of it where that bumper might be. So I'm wondering if that is what we've got going on. With that. Why it won't return correctly. I think there used to be a bumper attached to this piece. And it is obviously gone. So I'm going to do a little bit of thinking. On what I might be able to put in there to act as a bumper. Without interfering too much with the way the machine operates. together. Grab the bolts. I just pulled the coin hand changer off while I was looking for something to see if I might have lost something. Alright. You gotta pull the, the handle cover off in order to get this around it from the outside. But we're going to try and get these plugged back in. front last. There we go. We'll get you through there. You there. There's one. And let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can do this. Got it caught. The bottom one in there. That one's going to be a little trickier because it's kind of around the springs. Yeah, that one's 
not going to want to play nice. Let's get the top one in. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I can't see it. Maybe I can put that one on by hand. Yep. Okay. Not quite sure how we're going to get that one on. Give me a minute. All right, I stuffed some paper towel down in the socket to, to hold the nut out a little prouder. We'll see if we can get that one to go. I think we got it. Yep, excellent. One second. All right, get that right there. All right. All right. I'll take these guys. Hook them. What was it? This one. I think it was this. Yeah. Hook them like that, and then we're going to, one second, put that on, this only goes in one way. There we go. And then we're going to put our last little bolt in it and we're ready to try this thing. All right, so she's back together. We got another $25 and quarters and let's see what we get. Test it first. All right, we're back to normal. That's much better. Serious buzz going on with the coin machine. <laughs> but the arm works perfectly. That bumper was our problem. There she goes. We're gonna have to take care of that next. But we'll get the arm fixed. <laughs> Got a buzzy solenoid. I'm gonna have to lube all those up too. Oh boy, that's a 40. Oh, 
no 20. Not a double. She's loosened up a little bit. That'll be the next video of taking the coin assembly apart and getting that lubed up so it doesn't buzz. See if we can get it to stop buzzing. Talk to you all later.